Let's head to Antarctica to see something truly amazing. In one of the most remote parts of the world, you'll find Blood Falls, a stream of red water flowing from a glacier. It's not real blood, but the sight is eerie and mysterious. So why is the water so red, and how does it flow in liquid form despite the frozen landscape? Scientists have studied Blood Falls for years, but many of its secrets remain hidden. Here's what we do know. The mystery of the red water. The water's red color comes from its high concentration of iron. When the iron-rich water comes into contact with the air, it oxidizes and turns a reddish color similar to how rust forms on iron. This process creates the striking blood-red appearance of the falls. How the water stays liquid Another fascinating aspect of blood falls is that the water flows in liquid form even in extremely cold temperatures. This is because the water is incredibly salty. It's actually a type of brine. The high salinity lowers the freezing point of the water, allowing it to remain liquid even when the surrounding temperatures are well below freezing. Hidden secrets beneath the ice. Blood falls isn't just a surface phenomenon. Scientists believe that the source of the brine is a subglacial lake that has been trapped under the Tabor Glacier for millions of years. This ancient, isolated body of water is thought to be home to unique microbial life that survives without sunlight or fresh air, living off the iron and sulfur in the brine. Studying these microbes could give us clues about life in extreme environments, possibly even on other planets. Ongoing research and mysteries. While we have some answers, the full story of Blood Falls is still a mystery. Researchers continue to study this unique site to understand more about the chemical reactions and microbial life taking place there. Each discovery at Blood Falls helps scientists learn more about extreme environments on Earth and potentially beyond. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more incredible stories from around the world. See you next time on Beyond the Senses.